This year, I took five AP tests. And the title's true. I studied for about 15 minutes the night before each test. Which might sound crazy, but this was mostly because I was just unprepared. Um, I ended up purchasing my AP tests themselves super late. So I had to pay an extra fee, which costed a lot of money. So I'm not too proud of that moment. And this is the first time, which is also my senior year, that I missed the test date, like test by date or whatever. So I don't know how that happened, but it did. But for those of you guys who are wondering how exactly did I study for those 15 minutes, all I did was went onto YouTube, did a quick search, video review, AP, calculus, for example. Right, and then I just pick a video that was 10 to 20 minutes long and watch the video. And then I called it quits. You know, sleep is more important than studying. So I decided to sleep earlier. And yeah, we'll see if that's true or not when I actually look at my scores. Anyways, these are my score predictions and hopes. So my most important test in my heart is going to be AP Calculus BC. The reasoning behind this one is just I took AP Calculus AB last year, which was also my junior year, and I got a four. So that's still pretty good, but I was I thought that test was really easy, so I thought I was going to get a five. So I was pretty disappointed with a four. So I decided to take Calculus again, so then... Hopefully, I could get a 5 on BC, right? So, that is obviously my hope. I hope that I got a 5 on BC. And, honestly, I do think that I got a 5 on BC because, or at least the AB subscore, hopefully, because it's now been two years of taking that class. So, I think I got a 5, and I hope I got a 5. Second is going to be AP Physics 2. Uh, this one is ranked high because I took AP Physics 1 last year. And I failed. I got a two. And before you guys call me dumb, that test has a super high fail rate. And it's literally the highest fail rate out of all the AP exams. Secondly, I was dying, man. I was so sick that day. It was phenomenal. It was an insane experience. I was literally running out of my nose. Like it was it was like water. It was just streaming out of my nose. It was crazy. I, I don't know how I took that test. I didn't finish. Um, mostly because I could not focus or pay attention because there was snot. But I'm hoping that I got a at least a three on physics. But I think I got a four because I felt pretty good about that test and I wasn't sick this time. So bonus points. Third, we have AP macroeconomics. And this one should probably be number one, but it's not. But the reason why it should be number one is because my major this uh, next fall is going to be economics and accounting. So economics should be a pretty important test for me. But I just thought calculus and physics were more like redemption kind of tests. And honestly, on economics, I think that I got a four. I'm hoping that I get a five because it is my major, but I think I got a four and the reasoning behind that is because I took that class during my second semester and basically my teacher ran out of time. So we actually didn't finish the curriculum and we were two units behind by the test date. So the night before I spent admittedly more than 15 minutes, I spent like 30 minutes learning the last two units instead of studying the whole curriculum and i learned two units by myself so that's why i think i got a four but i thought the test was pretty easy so I'll, hopefully i got a five we'll see these next two tests i don't really care too much about but one of them was ap statistics this one i actually did pretty well in my final in uh class so I think that I got a five and obviously I hope that I got a five and my last test was AP US government this one I thought was really easy but I took it during my first semester of school so there were a few months that I just was not you know learning gov 
or studying gov or doing anything gov related for a few months before the test so because of that it's possible i might have remembered stuff wrong and just thought that it was easy but i thought it was pretty easy so i think i got a five and i hope that i got a five all right guys so now we're on the college board website and it is time to check my ap exam scores so let's just get straight into it um i forgot how the layout is so i don't know if i'm gonna see a score immediately but yeah let's just click sweet okay so i got a five on ap calculus bc that's what we're talking about right there all right, I actually needed that one. I actually needed that one. And as you guys can see, we have a five sub score right here too. So that is awesome. That is amazing. Okay, next one looks like it's going to be econ. So let's see how that one goes. What was my guess again? Four? Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, so I cannot believe I got a five on that. That is unbelievable. We didn't even finish the last two two units, so I'm kind of I'm kind of in shock right now. Yeah, so for you guys who took econ and uh, did not get a five, and you did learn the whole curriculum, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. What's our next one? Uh, I don't want to reveal the score. Okay, good. AP Physics 2. <sighs> Alright, come on. I'm hoping for a 4 here. I'm hoping for a 4. Please give me a 4. What if I get a 5? Bruh. So I got a 2 on Physics 1, and then I got a 3 on that one. So at least I did better, but... It's a little bit disappointing. I thought I got a 4. That, dude, that felt easier. That felt so easy, bruh. What happened? There's no way. At least I passed. At least I passed. Whatever. Cool. Oh, what is this one? AP stats. Okay, cool. It didn't show me the score yet. Okay. This one, I think I got a five. So, hopefully I got a five. Dude, imagine I get like a one or something. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, I got a five. I got a five. That's cool. That is sweet. All right. All right. AP, U.S. government and politics. All right, please, dude. I think I got a five. I'm pretty sure. But whatever. All right, moment of truth. Come on, be a five. No way. A three again. I got no fours this year. How is that even possible? I got three fives and then two threes. Dude, I could have sworn this was the easiest test I've ever taken in my life. Really? I got a three. How do you explain that one? Okay. All right. Um, let's just compare these to my other scores. So, like I said, I got a four on AB, right? I said that earlier physics one like i said i got a two <laughs> they told me i challenged myself yeah i did should not have taken that test while i was sick and that's not a fake excuse by the way i was actually sick hey i got a five on psychology i forgot about that that was my first that was my first five junior year was my first five yeah so this year was actually the best i've ever done on my ap on um, ap test most i've ever taken and the best i've ever done so that's pretty cool uh, yeah, I don't know what these things mean, but it's whatever. All right, these tests were during COVID. So, I actually took a nap during this one. <laughs> AP Lang, I took a nap during that test. And that, because it was just writing essay after essay. So, I got super bored and tired. And I had to take that test after I took uh, AP World as well. So, can't blame me. Um, AP World, I remember thinking that test was pretty easy. I thought I got a 5, but I got a 4. 
during COVID. So I don't know how much you can blame me for that one. Uh, another award, I guess. Oh, and then this one. This one was funny. AP hug. So I got a four, which is pretty good because I knew nothing. I almost got to be in that class. But um, yeah, for this one, this was like peak COVID. So this was my freshman year. COVID just started. And yeah, so all three of these tests um, were on, I took online, but this one was literally one FRQ. That's it. One FRQ. And I got a four. It was about, it was like about potatoes. I still remember of it. So, wow. I don't know. I don't know how you score one FRQ and just give me a number, but it's cool, I guess. But yeah, so first five was psychology, which is like the easiest test, by the way. So it doesn't really count. But these ones I'm pretty proud about. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, reaction time, baby. Anyways, those were my AP scores. So I actually showed you guys all of them because I've never made this kind of video before. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'm Emmett Funston. Peace out. Let's go! Let's go! Call me by my name. I'm Peppa Pig.